Hey there, welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update for Bliss. Yes, that is right. Our friend Ayan has made an update for Bliss, um, the latest update with January security patch. As we know that Bliss is a very old ROM and um, it's a great ROM, really. Um, so the, stu uh, the user interface for the quick settings is stock and um, the, um, the, the ROM comes in two different variants. One is Vanilla and the other one is Gapps. So basically I have the Gapps variant booted here. So the GAP variant is actually using Quickstep Launcher, the launcher that we are familiar with um, CR Droid, Derfus and all. So they are actually having the same kind of customization for the launcher. Um, so basically since it is actually GAPS version, uh, not a lot of GAPS are there. It is not bloated actually. So uh, let us go to the settings. Well as we know that the settings uh, it is actually having the stock user interface. So let us go to the about phone section and uh, try to get Android 13 version. The Android ROM is Android 13. Android security update is 5th of January 2023. The kernel that I am using, I have changed the kernel. It is actually Anya kernel which comes uh, default with the ROM. So I am actually using 4.19.157 Pyro kernel by our friend Ash. So that is about the uh, ROM version and the Bliss version is 16.3. Code name is Typhoon. Uh, Bliss device is Kain. Maintainer is our friend Ian and uh, the build is official too. So, um, Blissify is where you can find customization. So, first one is animation. So, it is actually having the default animation uh, settings. So, nothing new or nothing uh, uh, has been added yet. Buttons, you can move the volume panel from left to right. This is how the Bliss volume panel looks like gestures system navigation three button two button gesture navigation you can uh, hide the gesture bar but you won't be able to hide the space under the keyboard system settings and tap on status bar tap on lock screen to turn off the screen and stuff like that notification then there is reticker option for the notification power menu quick settings you can adjust the brightness slider position nothing more is there status bar you can have a different uh, battery style only few are available as of now the network traffic indicator uh, well uh, the privacy indicator and all then themes you'll have uh, some few choices of fonts for the themes actually i'm using magisk version of google sans so that's why the font is being displayed like this icon pack signal icon style Wi-Fi icon style, icon shape. So that is what you get in themes. Then miscellaneous, you will have the USB configuration and ignore se window sec secure flag. So basically, the ROM is having limited customization. Well, Bliss used to be a ROM with many customizations. Right from Android 10, I am using it, and it had it used to have a lot of customization. But coming to Android 13, I believe the source might be in working progress. So in future, we may be able to see more. Um, customization options so um, my verdicts are if you want to use a ROM which is very old and uh, which is pretty much smooth and stable you can definitely uh, try Bliss OS once again I would like to thank Ian for his effort and um, time um, in making the ROM super stable and smooth um, if you're having difficulty with the MPT MTP sorry MTP make sure that you turn off the USB debugging option so yeah see it is usb debugging is uh, enabled by default so if you're having some kind of troubles for mtp um, please make sure to turn off the usb debugging so other than that no other issues i have faced and once again i would like to thank you for watching my rom review please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you